Hi there guys, my name is Josh from Majestic and we're going to be reacting to Nook's Top 5, Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos for Full Screen Terror. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Josh from Drastic and welcome to another Nukes Top 5 video. In today's video we're going to be watching Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos for Full Screen... Screen Terror? SHUT UP! SHUT UP! Do I have to... Do I have to come over there? Hi guys, my name is Josh from Drastic and welcome to another Nukes Top 5 video. I hope you enjoyed that little skit at the beginning. Lucian really wanted to do it, but as you could obviously tell, we couldn't stop smiling the entire time we were doing it. So it was ended up pretty pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, but <laughs> without further ado, today's video we're going to be watching is top five scary ghost videos for full screen terror. Nobody suggested this video besides my brother, <laughs> and it's 26 minutes Actually, long. Actually, no, a ton of people did. Uh, I don't know about that. Did you see the comment section on the other thing? That was all your friends, though. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I have no reason to believe that that was not your friends. How? Uh, because uh, you were in one of my videos a long, long time ago. And however many people saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got your friends to comment on my video. I was in two videos, okay? Uh, okay, fine. Two videos, yeah, This sure. is going to be third. Yeah, okay. All right. There was only like one other person I saw that actually commented, "Hey, you should have your family on more." Oh yeah. That was not on the video that you told them to comment on. I don't have friends, Josh. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. All yeah. I have is Brayden. And you got a lot more than that. I'm sure all your friends who are gonna watch this are gonna be very upset by that. There's totally nobody named Brayden in my my friends. All right. All right. Okay. Anyways, roll the intro. <laughs> What would be cool, Lucian? Nothing. Cool. Are we recording? There. You're still recording. Yes, I know. That's the whole point. You didn't know that? I don't... I don't huh? I'm not a YouTuber, Josh. Huh? I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not you know a oh, YouTuber? Oh, wow. We're so you know big. a YouTuber? Huh? I'm what are you doing? I actually got banned. Yes, you did. Because you're like four. I'm 11. Yeah, you are 11. You know, I was abused by my brother this, this, to start this video. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you said you were. Yeah, I no, was. No, I was. I don't know what you're talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. I had to put you through that. You like, put me in a closet. Footage. Yeah, I put you in a closet. Paranormal Investigator Joe from the YouTube channel Afterlife Paranormal Investigations Ooh. is joined by his friend Rob as they explore a creepy abandoned farmhouse in Brownstown, Michigan. Um, the guys Robert. are hoping to have a paranormal encounter. That was terrible. Uh, that was absolutely horrible. You know what we're going to do about that? <laughs> what? We're going we're gonna to make it so that it plays on my MacBook. What was? And then we're going to take... Actually, I don't think it will record it if I play it on my MacBook, so... We're going to just go back to headphones. Well, what are you but first, they capture a very strange encounter with an angry bee. There's this fly that... Is that a fly or a beetle? It keeps coming near my light. Beetle. You wish. Oh, it's a bee, dude. It's a bee. I know, dude. It's like, leave us alone. <laughs> I can hear it, dude. Well, yeah, it sounds beast. As they investigate, they start to pick up some very bizarre K2 EMF readings. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god, dude. K2. Oh, yeah. It is going out of control. Well, it's nice but to then, all your the two investigators capture something without even knowing. Something they just can't explain. What can't they explain? All right, we're getting ready to check out the upstairs and see if we can even stand on these floors, but it looks sketchy. Just... No, 
out that of the That bee dude is not like leaving us alone. This bee keeps trying to attack us. I wish we had some spray to kill it. Really, the bee is a demon. You good, dude? There it is. Did you see it? No. A strange mist or smoke like apparition seems to form right in front of them. Yeah, could have just. Oddly been enough, the two investigators smoke, can't care. even see it. Joe later explained that he had no idea what he had just captured, and to his great regret, he just stopped recording completely unaware of the amazing evidence that he was capturing on of camera. Dust. So just what do you think this Absolutely odd dark mist could be? Evidence. Let me know. You can check out this full investigation over on Joe's YouTube channel, I Afterlife don't care Paranormal about Investigations. A turn for the worse. Paranormal investigators yes, Kurum and Shahid from the YouTube channel Saya Official travel to an abandoned farmhouse in Punjab, Pakistan that is said to be extremely haunted by an evil entity. The entire property is haunted, but especially one particular tree that seems to trigger aggressive supernatural activity when approached. The man says that three of his children mysteriously became very ill after they had been playing underneath the tree. Their hands and feet became locked in a twisted, painful position, and they couldn't move them. The farm owner also became ill and suffered the exact same fate. His hands and feet became twisted in pain. The helpless, terrified family soon deserted the farmhouse and just never returned. It's a Kuram and Shahid were called in to investigate the extreme haunting of the farm. Now, just so you know what's going on, the loud aerial noise that can be heard in this footage is explained by Kuram and Shahid to be the sounds of a Muslim religious event that is taking place in the same month they are investigating. So, when the two friends begin exploring the property, it doesn't take long before they start to experience the alleged extreme haunting for themselves. Yeah, that's a car. Udar, jaage dikhao. Yeah. Inside of Yaar, that house. It's kind of weird. It's like the garage. Yaar, Kuram, ye pehle iska ya, aage wala boner hila hai. Ye dekho. Dobara darwaza band ho gaya. Phir darwaza band ho gaya, Kuram. I don't think so. It's a whole car though. Like, this is an abandoned place. Like, that door just shut to a ghost or yaar. something. It's just a weighted door. Allahu Akbar Are you sure? Yes I'm sure if they keep looking at the door while it's open It will close on the door This door is open I feel like this is the crossing of the wind In the actual crossing of the wind That's why Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Where did that come from? From behind you when the door was open Well I mean the guy wasn't even in the frame when it opened why aren't you guys looking at the door? The door is so yeah, I don't know what the door is behind me. I don't know what the door is behind me. A car sitting on the farm's property begins to shake on its own and something heavy is thrown and hits Shahid in the back. They don't know it yet, but things are just going to get worse from here. It's all coming from that door. I would like you to keep a camera on that door, please. So we can see it happen. There we go. Oh, no, yes, something that can't be explained. Finally. A wooden hay cart has flipped into the air and falls violently. There we go. The two investigators are shocked, the but they continue to explore the area. What happens next is just bizarre. Oh, you see, you see. Oh, 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 you see
Oh. What? His own face Dude, seems to be what? staring back at him as he turns a move oh, like, and explodes. What the heck, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell from Completely when it froze. Unaware of it what went just from happened. Shahid and Karam to it just froze. And I thought it was the window. Sound and the two investigators turn too. around, but Shahid's reflection doesn't move. But the light on his phone does. Oh, wow, that's kind of weird. Listen, you haven't. Yes. Come on, it has to be like But they continue to explore the area. This one I can't explain. What happens next that is looks so just unnatural. bizarre. It does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, watch, yeah, watch. And then oh, his light yeah, from, from his camera keeps moving. Dude, that's weird! Bro. Did you see it? Shahid's Shahid looks into an old dirty mirror when he hears a sound and the two investigators turn around. But Shahid's reflection doesn't move. His own face seems to be staring back at him as he turns and moves toward the unexplained sound. Completely explain. unaware of what just happened, Shahid and Karam set out to find the source of the what mysterious the noise. The two investigators ask for the dark presence to appear, and they get exactly what they wish for. Eh. A strange figure can be seen throwing something at the team from the other side of the property. When they run over, there's no one there. Really. The creepy apparition has simply disappeared. Yeah, did eat the team too. decides to split up and Shahid goes into one of the old farm buildings and heads upstairs. He sets up a static camera and lies down on an old bed frame. It did not go well. Why are all the cool ghosts over in like other countries? The heavy bed frame suddenly flips over, throwing Shahid to the floor. The terrified investigator just gets up and makes a run for it. After this horrifying experience, the team decides they've pretty much had enough, and they decide to call it a night. Now, real or not, the metal frame of that bed and Shahid's weight combined would have been extremely heavy and difficult to lift off the floor. So this footage is without a doubt incredibly strange and very creepy. I'm not sure I have an explanation, but maybe you do. Is it real or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. I thought it was something you can watch this really full two-part series Dude, over on the so YouTube channel. Dude, it's so weird to see his Science face just official. Like, That is the there best is. video I've seen. If you see I've a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting yeah, channel and you caught something great, yeah, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Meanwhile, on TikTok. I love one of these things. Anonymous TikTok? TikTok user Haunted yeah. Wesley Manor claims that he works as a building maintenance man for a large apartment complex that was built in the late 1700s. Now, back in those days, the basement of the building contained cheap live-in apartments for hundreds of poor occupants. But now, after years of restorations and remodeling, the basement is left empty and abandoned. TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor says that many of his co-workers and even current residents of the building have heard and seen some very strange things. In fact, after many residents started reporting that they heard crying, giggling, and even screaming coming from the basement, the anonymous TikTok user and building maintenance man was forced to start checking out the creepy basement for intruders <laughs> on a regular basis. Just like, he records his experiences I'm and shares them on TikTok. No. His curious TikTok followers believe that the spirits of restless children might actually haunt the basement, and they request that the TikTok user leave a toy in the basement. So he does, and that's when things yes. get truly bizarre. I brought a little toy. 
Hopefully the ghost likes it. I think it's a child. I'm hearing a lot of stuff down here. What? No. It the toy a truck suddenly turns on as if someone or something touched it. After this creepy experience, the activity in the basement only seems to intensify. The TikToker begins to hear movements and giggling when he goes down on his daily inspections. And then, one day, he captures something downright chilling. A young child can be seen peeking at the frightened TikToker from behind a wall. And then, the video cuts out. So, is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. In another video, TikTok user Maddie Bark believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Maddie Bark says that she's seen something strange in her yard on a regular basis, and that whatever it is, it appears to be getting closer and closer to her house. One night, she is shocked when something appears right at her front door. Maddie. Maggie, oh my god. Oh. Maggie. Who is that? Oh my god. Is, is, that, is that just a man? Oh, no, oh no, that no. Is he out there? No, sir. It ain't no man. No, sir. Just no man's him? that brave. No, no silly, 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 silly real killer is that brave. Just... There's nowhere to go. What? It went to the left. Oh. Are those eyes? <laughs> No, those are just lights. Okay, all of those are just lights. Yeah, they're like. It looked like it turned and That's so away. creepy though. It looks like eyes, dude. This. It gives me goosebumps every time she looks at it. So, what if it just hopped over the fence? Definitely didn't hop. <laughs> I would go back inside. You open A pale, up the translucent room. figure can be seen looking into the window of Maddie's front door. It then seems to move to the side and suddenly disappear into thin air. Maddie and her sister open the front door, but no one there. What makes Hello? this footage even stranger Hello? is that there's nowhere for this mysterious figure to have gone. There are several steps up and a tall guardrail right beside the door. So again, is it real? As always, yeah. I leave it up to you to decide. But you shouldn't have opened Three that door. haunted houses. YouTube user Megasquirrel64Gamer has his entire Mega YouTube channel Squirrel dedicated to gaming videos gamer. and occasional vlogs. <laughs> but there's one video on his channel that's very different. In the video, the YouTuber explains that his dad got a delivery and opened the front door to receive it. On the door, there's a security camera, which is now filming the inside of the house near the living room. The camera captures something downright chilling. Did you see it? No. Yeah. The user Mega Squirrel 64 Gamer explains that his mom and dad were the only ones present during the recording of this video. Do you video. not see the thing no. on the couch? So oh, just no. who? I thought that was your what friend. Is sitting on the couch next to his mom. Uh, the gamer has no idea what this bizarre apparition uh, can be, I and to this day, the video remains unexplained. Nah, dude, that was as but soon as he said that it was only them two at home. <laughs> I was oh, like, let me know. Down in the comments. Well, I saw it the whole in another time. video what? of an that alleged haunted house, Sylvia C. from England that says that she's been dealing with aggressive that poltergeist that activity ever since she played around with a Ouija board. Why would you play hey guys, with a Ouija board? The camera is part of activity tonight. Ouija, Ouija, board? Kitchen. Ouija board? The Ouija board? The Luigi board? Spanning hey, that cupboard door. Yeah, your cupboard door is angry at you. It's hungry. It just happens all the time. I don't know what to do. Sylvia says that the house she lives in was built on top of an old British coal mine. Oh, she yeah. now fears that whatever dark spirit she unleashed during her Ouija board session might be trying to harm her. Oh, you don't that, say. That plate's moving. That plate. It's gonna yeet itself at you. Better move. Yeet! I'm scared to get it. Yeet it, son. Wait, wait, why do they have a washing machine in there? 
Oh, the drawer opener, isn't it? Yeah, we'll wash it. Can you see that? That plate is moving. Oh my god. Yeah, the plate is moving. What are you, what are you, why are you so worried? Oh. It's just broke that plate. You gotta get one of those unbreakable plates. Called plastic. Oh my god, god. It's called flex tape. <laughs> yeah, get some flex tape. Spit in the kitchen, why did you do that? Why not? As the strange activity only seems to intensify, Sylvia starts to set up static cameras around her house. Thank God she finally made a right decision. Hmm, that's just me. She's a washing machine inside her kitchen. That's what I said. Wait, it's moving the drawer. Ha! <laughs> the... It's cleaning your house. It's, it's, it's making a sick beat, son. Like, it's like doing the kitchen cabinet kitchen slams shut like with such kitchen. force that it appears to shake the entire kitchen another night and the terrifying activity starts up again <sighs> sylvia understandably starts to freak out just a bit this is why i don't invite any of that bad stuff into my life but you apparently did and you deserve it because you played with the ouija board guys i heard things happening in the kitchen again now I'm playing with the sharp objects. That's when so I'm that, moving. That out. tin was moving. No, that's when you just put it tin. inside the Woo! Oh my God, that one's just moved. That's fun. You'd be like, hey, sir, can you clean up my room? Why are you moving things again? Why are you moving things again? Well, Cause actually, you sound like I have a Please don't move it. Cut the thing. Please don't throw a knife. You said don't do the thing. It's going to do the thing. Oh my God. Let's just shut that door. Washing machine. Oh, spirit in the kitchen. What? Oh no, guys! Let's just move that chair. Dude, she's, she's so. So it's so fake. Oh God! I don't like her. Oh God! Oh, she looks like so scared. <laughs> but nothing prepares Sylvia for what like happens she's next. She's scared. Yeah. It's just weird. It sounds like. It sounds Peppa Pig. not. It doesn't. Yeah, it sounds like Peppa Pig. Oh my God, guys! George, George just died. <laughs> My pet died. The, the, oh, the, um. the spirit in the kitchen. The kitchen. Why would you have your knives hanging up? That's just a repousy. The cutlery. There, there you oh go. Yeah, a sharp cool. knife flies from the countertop and lands very near her feet. Sylvia says oh, that she is now worried for her safety. Oh, you're you're She's worried now? Trying to move to a new home. You can watch even more creepy videos of the terrifying activity in Sylvia's home over on her YouTube you channel, Sylvia C. Fault. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer. However, the source of the mysterious footage is unknown. So the story goes that the residents of a house are being tormented by terrifying... Of course Nick calls me while I'm recording a video. Nick, I'm recording activity. a video. Go in an away. To capture proof of the strange events, they leave a camera running overnight. What they catch on camera is absolutely terrifying. That's not terrifying. Is that a head? I don't see a head. Where do you see a head? I don't see a head. I'm gonna text him. You're a rat. You watch for me. Just, you can't just do that to me. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> I got you. Pause it. No. That's the thing moving around it. Oh, you can make it go slow. You made it go fast. No, I didn't. Sorry guys for the audio. You're way too far. You're way too far back. It doesn't matter. It's so slow. It's getting low. It's okay. Boom. Right. Now. No. This way, it's so slow. Come on. 
Come on. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm sure Nuke already got it, but... Yeah, probably after this. I don't know. Are we seriously going? We're not going that. Oh! You were so close. One second. Got it! Oh, got it. <laughs> Baby! What is that? I don't even know, but I got it and I don't care. Okay, moving on. And on you guys smoke. can take a screenshot all you want. I got it. There you go. I got the it's work gone. done. And it's gone. Back to normal. I caught it in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I bet Nuke's going to show it. Yeah, I'm right sure Nuke's going to show it just fine. Oh. <clears throat> what is that? Wait, what? It's the door. There's a door there? Yeah. I probably don't need to ask, but... Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Objects on the table appear to be moving on their own and a light slowly bends over. But then, for just a split second, I got some bizarre dark shape appears it was literally to be standing second. at the table. Yeah, it for you. The figure only appears for two frames of video and then seems to become translucent before disappearing completely. A few seconds later, and the figure can be seen again. What? This time, Wait, what? in the kitchen. I didn't even oh. see now, that. I'm certainly not saying that this is 100% real paranormal footage, and without the original source, we'll never know. But it's definitely very creepy. You don't. That's the creepiest backbone. one I've seen. No. YouTuber Lewis Manuel Mote it. from the YouTube channel Terror Alex Dremo well, travels to El Espinazo no, del Diablo, which translates to the, the Devil's Backbone. The road is one of yeah, the most dangerous highways in Mexico. The motorway is infamous for its treacherous curves, sudden ravines, and steep climbs and drops between mountains. Undeniably, the road has seen its fair share of tragic accidents, and the highway is believed to be very haunted. Luis is joined by his friend and cameraman Odin as they explore several abandoned buildings on the Devil's Road. Soon after they arrive, Luis begins to explain to the audience where they are. Little do the two men know that they have already captured something very strange. Okay. Pues ya estamos aquí dentro de este lugar. Vamos a ver, no, es que de verdad sí estoy sugestionado. Venimos con un poco de miedo, pero bueno, vamos a ver qué qué encontramos en este lugar. Se presenta detrás de cámaras. Su amigo Dean, familia. Y su amigo y servidor. So amigo Dean, familia. He's to something He's over there. Amigo there. A pale figure can be seen walking in the okay. distance, oh. barely visible on oh. camera. Totally now it yeah. should be noted the two friends are in a remote area, far away from any cities or towns, but, which makes this know, capture even more bizarre. As they begin their exploration and walk through one of the abandoned structures, no. the two are spooked by something they can't explain. My what face. is it? That's pretty unexplainable. Wow, I explained it away. Patearon algo, no? Si. How do you know it was a pot then? Pero no había nada. How do you know it was a macaroni? No invento, ya me saqué de onda, eh. Es que allá arriba no hay ni para dónde se echen a correr. Si es que hay vivos aquí. Mira, hay una casita ahí abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. Yo, it just moaned at you. No inventes, Odin. una casita de abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. Yeah. Stop it with the weird noises. No inventes, Odin. Kick down the door. That's what I do. I just be like, bam. What's up? Marijuana smoke. <laughs> I mean, this video is pretty tragic already. I know. He's got a nice microphone. 
Can you not kick it open? Stop Push! Rolling. With your palm! There you go. He wasn't even pushing with his palm. It's like when you speak quietly, pushing with all fingers. that comes out is... Slowly! Slowly! I like Sully. <laughs> Are you dying? Mm -hmm. Is that where the beds went? Drag me across the, the ground. Yeah. Pero we no. A can falls on its own, yeah, and soon after, an eerie moan campers. can be heard just before a door slams shut. Camper. Luis and Odin begin to get the feeling that they're not alone, and someone or something is following them. Their suspicions are soon confirmed when they witness something with their own eyes. Something chilling. He's got the best camera. Could it be in the top of the tree? Could it? That would be terrible. Oh, smells like hay algo en el árbol, ya viste? Ya lo viste, ya lo viste. Viste. Si lo agarraste? Another moan can be heard coming from somewhere out of the darkness. Then they both see a pale figure walking in the distance near the ruins of some abandoned structures. When they explore the area, they find nothing and no one. So did Luis and Odin capture the paranormal activity that people claim has been haunting the Devil's Backbone Highway? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Terror Al Extremo. Thanks for watching. By the way, there's a video that some of you might not have seen because it was taken down for a bit what? over a week because of a weird copyright thing. But the copyright yes! thing is all worked out now and the video's back up. So if you yes! haven't seen it, check it out. I reacted to that video you and then YouTube it, took down uh, my video for it. I don't know. Maybe watch it. So if you guys haven't seen my reaction to that video, I suggest you go watch that, if it's back up. Hopefully it is. We yeah. shall see. Yeah, guys. Shut up. <laughs> Take your hat back, Baldo. I'm not bald. Anyway. You suck at putting on hats. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, stay strong, everyone. Did I actually hit you? <laughs> Hold on, let me just do my business. Ah! <laughs> Let me do the outro. Fine, you can do the outro. But if you mess oh, up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this, I'm going to be messing up. So, you do it. Okay. As <laughs> always, guys, stay strong, everyone. Stay safe. Wear your seatbelt, wear your helmet, wear your mask. Don't put the flashlight behind you. Don't look in the haunted mirrors. And as always, have a nice day.